Today we're battling 100 years of toothbrushes versus 100 years of candy. Up first, the Roaring Twenty. Double bubble gumballs. This was the first ever commercially sold bubble gum. Pez candy dispensers. It's Tweety Bird. Pick your flavor. Lemon, raspberry, or strawberry. Now that's one quadruple stack sandwich. Nope. Pez was one of the first candies that you could collect as a toy. Charleston Chews, a candy named after a dance. They're tiny little chocolate nuggets covered in delicious chocolate. It's stuck into my teeth. Baby Ruth bars. It looks like a chocolate turd. Now this is some Grand Slammin' candy with a cavity guarantee. Haribo Gummy Bears. It's the first ever gummy candy in the world. Tiny. Small Gummy Bear. Big Gummy Bear. Giant Gummy Bear. Ugh, way too much Gummy Bear for me. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Which is rated one of the most popular candies of the past hundred years. Yay. That's one big chocolate peanut butter cup. In the 1920s, toothbrushes were made from bone and had horse hair bristles. These bristles don't sound pleasant to brush with. Back then, a toothbrush like this cost 58 cents. Which is pretty solid. But what's even better is that toothpaste only cost 10 cents. Quick disclaimer, don't use expired toothpaste. This is for entertainment purposes only. Let's find out how this 70 cent brushing routine will clean my stained teeth. It's disclosing time. Yeet. Let's check the before results. If you've never tried Fact Lab Disclosing Tablets, now is your and time. It makes brushing fun by coloring the plaque on your teeth. All you gotta do is crush them and em, then brush them. Shop down below or on FactLab.com or on Amazon. Pepsodent Dental Cream. The toothpaste is corroded on the this top. This is gonna be so gross. It's stuck. Oh, it's super crusty. And it's leaking out a nasty odor. Let's see what a hundred year old toothpaste looks like. Oh, it looks normal. Ooh, it smells sour. It's so, so gross. It smells like stinky grandma feet mixed with a little bit of minty toothpaste and a hint of dust. Back up. This is Dental Digest. Let's get brushing in the 1920s. Let's check the after results. There's still plaque all over my teeth. So if you've ever wondered if brushing with a 1920 horsey hair toothbrush is pleasant, the answer is no. Nah. <laughs> and they're also gonna irritate your gums because these bristles are way too firm. Now it's time for the boss, some dental floss. In the 1920s, it only costed a nickel. Floss was initially unwaxed, meaning it was difficult to slide and glide in between your teeth. This dental floss gets a one star review. Let's see what's up for the 1930s. Candy buttons, it's candy printed on paper. Blue raspberry, Lemon. and cherry. Marshmallow Circus Peanuts? They look like a peanut, but let's see what they taste like. Bleh, this stuff tastes like Play-Doh! No circus fun with these nuts. Now it's time for the best candy bar to ever exist, Snickers. In the 1930s, Snickers only cost five cents. Snickers satisfies. Whirly pop, lollipop. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a lollipop? One, two, three. Tastes like cherries. Turkish taffy. This was one of the first candies advertised on television. Smack it and crack it. Tastes like vanilla bubble gum. It's time to get brushing, but before we check out what toothbrushes they used in the 1930s, it's disclosing time. Let's find out where all the plaque is and see how much damage those snacks did to my teeth. Yeet. Let's check the before results. In the 1930s, we made the switch from horsehair bristles to boar hair bristles. As the world was struggling through the Great Depression, this was not a year for toothbrush innovation. While boar hair bristles are good for the environment because they're biodegradable, they're even rougher and more firm than the bristles on the market today. That's not gonna be fun. Firm bristles like these are gonna damage your gums, potentially leading to gum recession. The toothbrush is constructed from wood rather than bone and cost only 50 cents. And get a load of this toothpaste from this era. It's called Dr. West Miracle Toothpaste and only cost it 50 cents as well. Combine these two products costed one dollar, so let's find out how well a one dollar brushing routine will clean my stained teeth. Once again, we got another metal tube. Let's open it up. 
Oh! I feel like I just opened the Chamber of Secrets! This toothpaste was made in Chicago, Illinois, which is pretty cool because that's my hometown. Okay, it's time to see what color this ancient toothpaste is. Oh! This toothpaste is definitely stale. <laughs> Smells like an old dusty shoe! Fart glob! This is Dental Digest, let's get brushing in the 1930s. Ugh, this toothpaste tastes like wet mulch and there's bristles falling out of this toothbrush like crazy! Got a bunch of fibers in my mouth! Let's check the after results. Not too shabby. This dental routine cleans surprisingly well, and that's because these bristles are so firm and scrubbed everything off my teeth, including my enamel. Not good. Up next is the 1940s. Up first, Smarties. Let's see if it makes me any smartier. Smarties only cost one penny when they were first released. Let's level that up with a Smarty lollipop and a Smarty squeeze candy. Smells dummy good. Get it because it's a smarty, but it smells dummy good. It tastes like chalk. Satellite wafers. These are the official UFO candy. It's like a maraca candy. Let's check what's inside. It's a bunch of crunchy beans. See why they're called flying saucers? They're shaped as a UFO. Whoa, these things taste out of this world. York peppermint patty. York peppermint patties are sensational. It's got my eyes dilated. It's giving me goosebumps. Original bazooka gum. It's gum that comes with a mini comic book. Whoa, that was wicked. Jolly Rancher hard candies. What's your favorite flavor? Cherry, green apple, grape, watermelon, and blue raspberry. Heat it up carefully and then let it cool. Don't eat these if you have braces. When did I get these? It's disclosing time. These didn't come out till 2020, but good thing we got early access. Yay. Let's check the before results. In the 1940s, we finally get nylon bristles and a handle made from plastic. The purpose was to mass produce toothbrushes for soldiers fighting in the war. And plastic was much easier to mass produce than bone handles. Avon Smokers Toothpaste. Smoking was on the rise across the nation, so toothpaste companies created a special formula to help fight off smokers' bad breath. This specific toothpaste was made in New York. Let's check out the color. Oh, looks exactly like normal toothpaste, but let's see how it smells. Smells like normal toothpaste, but does it taste like normal toothpaste? Let's try it out. Fat glove. This is Daniel Digest. Let's get brushing in the 1940s. Let's check the after results. Nylon bristles were a huge improvement. This was a great cleaning experience for only $1.50. Up next, let's head into the 1950s. Peeps marshmallows. Whistle candy. Hot tamales. I'm feeling fired up. Woo Red vine twist. <laughs> Whoa, that felt gnarly. It tastes a bit stale. With a hint of boogers. Chico sticks. It's crunchy peanut butter rolled in toasted coconuts. In the 1950s, they released a unique travel toothbrush that had a hidden toothpaste compartment. I can't wait to give this a try. Oh, it hurt me to do that. This is a one-of-a-kind toothbrush. It says the bristles are medium firmness. But they sound extra firm. Comes with a little mini travel toothpaste tube. It's hidden inside the toothbrush handle. An epic toothbrush kit like this back then would cost $2.50. But in today's society, that would be $30. It's disclosing time. Yay. Let's check the before results. Back love. This is Dental Digest. Let's get brushing in the 1950s. Oh man, these bristles are hard. Really hard. This brushing challenge is for sure gonna mess up my smile. But I'm doing this because I love you guys, so make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And also smash the like button if you brushed your teeth today. Let's check the after results. These are some pretty clean results, but my teeth are so sensitive after these super firm bristles. Up next, we're in 1960, so let's see what candy they got. Big hunk? This is one weird looking candy bar. 
Big hunk? More like big junk. Ugh, that was a doo-doo candy bar. I feel bad for my grandparents, but hopefully they had something better. Pop Rocks came out in the 1960s. My favorite. Strawberry, cotton candy, grape, and watermelon. Let's try my favorite flavor, strawberry. I can hear it sizzling all the way down my throat. Lemon heads, these are one of my favorite candies to travel with. Let's give them a try. Whoa! I feel like I'm turning into a lemon head! Starburst, the original chewy fruity candy. Not only is this one of the most delicious candies, it's one of the most fun candies to play if with. If you want to learn how to turn Starburst into slime, make sure to check out my DIY edible slime video. It's this closing time. Let's check the before results. In the 1960s came the first automatic toothbrush, the Broxiden. It comes with a user manual. It's called the toothbrush, the plaque fighter. It also has a fancy wall mount and multiple spare bristle heads so the entire family could share the toothbrush. Ugh, how gross. Let's plug it in to see if this 60 year old toothbrush still has power. <gasps> it works! This toothbrush cost $400 in today's society, which means it cost around $40 back then. In the 1960s, the toothpaste companies you know today came out with their first ever fluoride formulated toothpaste. Each one of these tubes cost only $2 back then, but I had to hunt them down on eBay and it cost me over $150. Comment down below what you prefer, Colgate or Crest. Fat glob. This is Dental Digest. Let's get brushed in the 1960s. Let's check the after results. Pretty good result. This was one weird ancient brush routine. The handle was vibrating my whole face and I feel super dizzy. And it's nice to know my teeth are finally protected because this toothpaste has got fluoride We're in the it. the 70s now, so let's see what we got. Reese's. Pieces. Up next, we got ring pops. I'm ready to go to the disco with all my bling. But here's a gift for you. Subscribe and this diamond's yours. Laffy Taffy. We got three delicious flavors and banana. Let's try them out. Oh! Laffy Taffy's got jokes on every rack. What kind of doctor can work in an auto body shop? A dent is. You like it? Good? It tastes like an eraser. Absolutely disgusting. It's this closing time. Yay! Let's check the before results. Toothbrushes were only 39 cents each, came with a cheap plastic handle, and they were still using ultra firm bristles. Come on, my teeth can't handle it anymore. And for toothpaste, we got adult strength cleaning toothpaste called Gleam. Back love. This is Daniel Digest. Let's get brushing in the 1970s. This toothbrush wins an award for the hardest bristles I've ever used, and that is not a good award. And this toothpaste, on the other hand, tastes like fermented toe jam. Let's check the after results. Now let's check out the 1980s. 60 years after gummy bears were released, a new and not so cute animal was released. And they were called gummy worms. This one's huge. Ugh, slimy. Skittles. I got the Skittle touch. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Everything I touch turns to Skittles. In the 80s, they released one of the best bubble gums to blow massive bubbles, Bigly Chew. This gum differed from others because of its unique shredded texture. <laughs> Nerds, these were originally released to help promote the new Willy Wonka movie. That's a lot of sugar. It's disclosing time. Let's check the before results. Toothbrush bristles started to have more innovation, so let's take a closer look at what Reach did. They advertised a ripple design to help clean in between your teeth better. There was also a bend in the handle to help you clean all the way in the back of your now mouth. Now let's pair this epic manual toothbrush with the first ever Listerine Cool Mint toothpaste. It still looks like Listerine. Oh, it's spot on. It still smells like it also. That must mean the breath cleaning power of Listerine is no joke. Back love. This is Dental Digest. Let's get brushed in the 1980s. Let's check the after results. My teeth are clean and my breath is fresh, which means the 1980s had a great brushing routine. Up next, the 90s. This era started off with some delicious airheads. We had three different flavors. Mystery, watermelon, and blue raspberry. 
It looks like a tongue. Did you know the mystery flavor is all the other flavors leftovers combined? It kind of tastes like dark cherry to me. Mini M&M's. Sour Candy had a huge innovation with the release of Warheads. My mouth is already starting to water. Woohoo, it's a sour explosion. Toothbrushes started to become fun in the 90s. And companies like Walt Disney released toothbrushes like this. Check out this Winnie the Pooh toothbrush. I think the plastic is starting to deteriorate because it's super sticky or somebody already used them. Colgate pump toothpaste. I've never seen a toothpaste canister like this, so I'm super excited. Use the pump here and watch the toothpaste ooze out. Back glob. Before we get brushing, it's this closing time. Let's check the before results. Let's check the after results. Even though a brush like this is pretty fun, it doesn't clean as good as the last decade. We finally made it to the 2000s. I can't wait to check out what toothbrushes we have in this era, but first, let's see what candy we got. Skittles went sour following the trend from Warheads in the 90s. Comment your favorite sour candy below. Super sour, but definitely not as sour as Warheads. I prefer sour Skittles from the future because they freeze dry them and turn them into crunchy nuggets of deliciousness. Sour, crunchy, flaky deliciousness. And pro tip, these guys are safe for braces. TV started to do collabs with candy. We got our epic, legendary Krabby Patty gummy. Check out this pretty patty. Oh, it tasted like barnacle juice. The candy companies kept on innovating and released one of the best candies ever, Nerd Ropes. Woo, fun to play with and eat. In the 2000s, electric toothbrushes were taking the market by storm. When the brush was first released, it cost $150. Now this is one expensive toothbrush even in today's society. And Sonicare had leading technology. Like a two minute timer. 31,000 vibrating strokes per minute. And unique bristle shapes to hug and contour to your teeth. Toothpaste started to get fun and they released collabs with movies like this Slimer Real Ghostbuster Toothpaste. It's disclosing time. Let's check the before results. Fecla. This is Dental Digest. Let's get brushing in the 2000s. Let's check the after results. An advanced clean from an advanced toothbrush. Now it's heading to our final decade. Sour candy kept on taking the market by storm. With sour punch straws, airhead extremes, juicy drop gummies, and sour smog balls. Out of all these candies, I've never tried sour smog balls before, so let's give them a try. It looks like a toxic waste dinosaur egg. This is the weirdest candy ever. Definitely a gross candy. Sour flush, plunger lollipop, ooze tube. Oh, it's got pink doo-doo cock all over it. Sour warhead spray. Ooh, super sour and gross. Tastes like doo-doo cock. -doo After all that sour candy, I definitely need something super strong to brush but with. But first, let's check out where all the plaque is with Fat Glob Disclosing Tablet. Yeet. Let's check the before results. In 2010, Oral-B conducted studies to create a brand new bristle head. They designed them to clean better than anything else before it. They use cross-action precision technology to clean your teeth as optimal as possible. Crest starting to release fun flavors like cinnamon. Comment down below if you like cinnamon toothpaste. Personally, I think it's gross. Fat Club. This is Dental Digest. Let's get brushing. Ugh, this toothpaste was super spicy. And this toothbrush is really loud. Let's check the after results. The modern era definitely had the best cleaning experience. However, though, my favorite toothbrushes have to go to the 90s. I love these limited edition character toothbrushes. Every decade that we just ate will definitely give you candies if you don't brush. But hands down, one of the worst decades was the 90s because of the release of sour candy. Sour candy ingredients will lead to faster cavities, so make sure to brush every day. Thank you, Fat Globbers, for watching. We'll see y'all in the next one. As always, smile on. Ciao.